Today, let's talk about speakers, in particular, woofers. So, in the shop, my office, I have this set up here. Today, we will be discussing what happens when you take a six and a half and another six and a half and wire them together and run them off a head unit. We do have an amplifier, but today we will not be focusing on such things. I also have tweeters set up here, but for the sake of today's discussion, I'll we'll be talking about tweeters today. That gets a little bit more crazy. So first thing we are going to discuss is what is a woofer and what is impedance? Impedance is the resistance that a speaker shows uh, an amplifier. Amplifier in this case of our head unit is the one that is built into said head unit. It has a maximum RMS output of 16 watts. That's it. The speakers we are working with today are the DD Audio VOM 6.5. Those have a maximum RMS wattage of 60 watts. What that means is you can send 60 watts to these speakers continuously without them catching on fire. Now, as I stated, the speaker has a RMS wattage of 60 watts, a sensitivity of 91 decibels. What the sensitivity is, is the amount of sound in decibels that this speaker will put out with one watt of power from one meter away. That is important because we can use that number to calculate the output of our speaker based on the amount of power we put to it. So since our head unit puts out 16 watts at 4 ohms, if we hook a single 4 ohm speaker into it, we can calculate the output SPL of said speaker. So the output SPL is 10 times the log base 10 of the output power, which in this case is 16 watts divided by the input power, or the original power, which, uh, since we're going with sensitivity, is 1 watt plus the sensitivity rating of said speaker. So, 10 times log base 10 of 16 divided by 1 plus the 91 gives us 12.04 plus 91, which in the end is 103.4 decibels. And we will test this now. So, head unit, volume all the way up to 40, single speaker precariously hooked up, microphone measuring, keep in mind this microphone is not one meter away, so volume may be a little bit higher. And now we will use Room EQ Wizard to produce a 1000 hertz tone and measure the SPL coming out of the speaker. And earmuffs, go. So, 112 decibels. Why did we get 112, not 103? We got 112 because the speaker, or the microphone, as I said, is much closer to the speaker than one meter. It is approximately one third of the distance away. If we were to do this test again and raise the microphone up, then it will be about the same. Let's do that right now. And headphones. Hopefully I'll edit that out later, because that's loud as hell. Even though it's only coming from a head unit. Impressive. All right, now let's kick it up a notch. Let us add the second six and a half to our setup. So I have these wired precariously in parallel to our head unit, precariously. And it stares defyingly because this head unit is only allowed or designed to run at four ohms. 
And now by running two four ohms in parallel, we are bringing it to two ohms and it's gonna get upset. However, since we are only doing this for short-term testing over a short burst, it's not gonna get that upset. Luckily, this head unit doesn't go into a protect mode, which most amplifiers, if it sees a ohm load lower than what it's rated for, it'll go into protect to protect itself from dummies like me. But this head unit does not do that. So going back to the calculation. Oh, by running them in parallel, we are effectively doubling the power coming out of the head unit. Where is that power coming from? Well, going into the disturbing and boring math of it, using Ohm's law, volts equals current times resistance, power equals volt squared over R. If we solve back for voltage, voltage equals the square root of power times resistance. If we know the power coming out of the head unit of 16 watts, we know the resistance of the speaker that we are currently using. Then the square root of 16 times 4 is 8 volts. Now, note, voltage is constant at volume. Yes, that is correct. Voltage is constant at a constant volume. Very interesting in fact. Definitely worth noting. What changes is the current. So, if we know now that our power is V, v times v, v squared over R, and we have 8 volts, so 8 times 8 over 2, that gives us a power of 32 blazing watts. And knowing that when we put two speakers in parallel, they effectively share that wattage. So up here, I had 16 watts at 4 ohms, so 16 watts were going to a single speaker. Now, if I have two speakers in parallel, I have 16 watts going here and 16 watts going here. Crazy. We can go back and also calculate how loud that's going to be. So... If we look at the SPL, it is again 10 times log base 10 of now the new power of 32 over the original power of 1 plus 91, 15.05 plus 91, 106.5. Wait, if I double the power, I only get S. Doubling the power only gives you three decibels. If you go from two volts or uh, two watts to four watts, you get three decibels. Go from 100 watts to 200 watts, you get three decibels. Very disturbing. No. But the beauty of adding a second speaker is that you get those three decibels without having to increase the power. That's the beauty of adding more speakers. So adding a second speaker, you are effectively adding twice the amount of power. Plus, when you add a second speaker, you get a bonus three decibels just by adding another speaker. So we measure it? Let's measure it. Going loud again, please, uh, earmuffs. We are testing dual six and a half in parallel off of factory Kenwood head unit, or aftermarket Kenwood head unit. Oh, thousand hertz full volume with Roo and go. So that gave us 120 decibels. If we go back to the previous measurement of a single six and a half, we notice that it's six decibels higher. The math works. One more thing we will talk about today is the resistor. So this is a 25 watt two ohm power resistor that comes in the wiring kits that we sell at Custom Speaker Pods. The purpose of the 2 ohm resistor is to provide an additional 2 ohms to your 2 ohm load when you wire two speakers in parallel. So you have 2 ohms here, and then in series, you have an additional 2 ohms. This one here is wired into the positive side of these speakers. So I've got wires from speaker 1, speaker 2, coming down, positive positive through the resistor negative negative back directly to the head unit by adding this resistor you are then creating a 4 ohm load that the head unit 
or your stereo amplifier will see, thus keeping it safe. Let's test it. So now testing dual 6.5 in parallel with 2 ohm resistor, creating a 4 ohm load to the head unit at full volume of forward earmuffs. So using the resistor did reduce the output of the speakers. So going from a 2 ohm load back up to a 4 ohm load, we lost 3 decibels. But we did gain 3 decibels over a single 6.5 inch speaker. Which again, if in order to get those additional 3 decibels, without adding an additional speaker, you would have to double the output power. So looking at the calculations, uh, getting safe with the resistor, you have the 10 times log base 10 of the now back to 16 watts over 1 plus 91 brings us back up to 103. So adding the resistor, yes, we are back to the original power, but don't forget about the bonus 3 decibels we get by adding the speaker. The real measurement was 116.8, which is exactly 3 decibels on top of the single 6.5 inch measurement. So, yeah. Calculating the resistance or the ohm load back to the speaker by adding that 2 ohm resistor in there. We still have the 8 volts originally, so 8 times 8 over 4 is 16 watts. Then those 16 watts are shared equally over the two speakers. So what do we learn today? We learned that by adding an additional speaker to your stereo, you gain effectively an additional 3 decibels. Uh, just by simply adding the speaker. If you wire those speakers in parallel down to 2 ohms, you'll gain an additional 3 decibels, which is the same as doubling the power of your amplifier. The only problem with doing that is if you're going to run it on a factory head unit, an aftermarket head unit, any sort of system that is not designed to run down to 2 ohms, we provide a 2 ohm resistor to bring that, that uh, resistance or impedance ohm load back up to 4 ohms. That will keep your system safe. Can you run everything on 2 ohms? Maybe. Will it last? I don't know. Will it catch on fire? Potentially. So, be safe. Use the resistor if you're not sure. Uh, it does quiet it down a little bit, but you still gain the 3 decibels just by adding an additional speaker. So, get your pods, get your speakers, get loud. Thanks a lot. If you've got any questions, hit me up. Please.